This video is a quick look at the Chargent Orders system. This runs, not only are we showing this in the new Salesforce user interface, this runs on platform edition licenses as well as standard CRM Enterprise and Unlimited. So here we have what we call an order, very similar in concept to an opportunity, uh, except that we're also supporting, you see here, a subtotal tax and shipping field, which are automatically calculated into the total. We still have a balance due as well as a unique order number. We're still tracking both credit card and electronic check payments, as well as the number of transactions and the amount of the total of those transactions. We still support a manual charge, which would be used to charge an amount less than the total amount of the order. You see at the bottom we have a list of transactions that we've attempted to charge. The last three have thrown back an error from the gateway, so we could click through that transaction and see what the problem was. I can see here that it's telling me the merchant ID is invalid. Back on the order, you see that this works exactly like the opportunity, but the order object can be linked to any other object in the system by building a relationship. So the orders can be attached to accounts or contacts or any other native or custom object within Salesforce. The only exception that if you're not using tax and shipping, you would simply specify your own subtotal. You will need to specify a tax and a shipping, but if you leave them blank, leave them as zero, it'll simply be the total will match the subtotal. Everything else is calculated off the total, so in this case the total is the same as the opportunity amount. 